everybody is stepping here for mod to fame and we are back with another video it is mod to fame's very first tech review tuesday guys we are in the absolute perfect place right now for this tech review tuesday we're at in track tire here in queens in track tire they specialize in exactly what is behind me tires and that's great because that's what we're talking about today we are talking about specifically though a certain type of tire and that is our compound tires specifically the ones that i have experience with and that i have ran on my car so right now let's jump into it with our first contender that we have right over here let me grab that so today guys we're, we're starting out with the first one which is the nitto nto 5 r so the nitto nto 5 r like i said our compound what does that mean our compound means Super, super soft, super sticky, runs out super fast, but it's for the ultimate traction, right? What is the difference? Why are there so many different types of R compound tires? Well, some of them do different jobs. Specifically in the case of the Nitto NTO 5R, this right here is go fast from a dead stop. It's the fastest way that you can actually launch the car. Now, granted, there are different types of tires, right? So there are complete drag radials and then there are radials for the street. The Nitto NTO5R is exactly that. It is a radial for the street. So there are pros and cons for every tire. Let's talk about the pros as we compare it to the Toyo R888, which is the next tire we're gonna talk about. The pros for the NTO5R is, it's the closest thing you're gonna get to a drag radial for the street. It has a super soft compound and soft sidewall, which is necessary for off the line traction. And this tire is relatively quiet, given the fact that when you compare it to the R888. When I ran the NTO5 R's at the drag strip, the first thing that I noticed is uh, after a nice little burnout and getting them going, I was able to, you know, really kind of lay into it off the line. When you think about who would be the perfect candidate for the NTO5 R, this is what you would think a Jeep. SRT built motor with a Whipple blower on it. This is the perfect guy that needs to get out of the hole. He's not particularly worried about anything else but getting out the hole. He's not worried about handling. He's not worried about uh, the wet. He just wants to get out of the hole. So that leaves us to what the cons are for the NTO 5R. And the biggest con that I would say for the NTO 5R is lack of driver confidence. Driver confidence, guys, is pretty much everything. You know what I mean? And if you're gonna actually use a tire besides just going to the drag strip or just doing straight line off the street, and you're actually gonna use the car, the driver confidence is greatly reduced when you're driving and it feels very wallowy. What does wallowy mean? Mushy that reduces confidence greatly. So what the first thing you're gonna wanna do is, instead of carrying that high rate of speed, you're gonna slow down and you're not gonna enjoy the car as much. Another con for the NTO 5 r is going to be its wet capabilities. In the wet, this tire feels like you are on ice skates. I swear to goodness, it feels like you're on ice skates being on this tire in the wet. But when you have such a crazy build like this one, you know, when you got Whipple, Nitrous, built motor, you know, honestly, you're, like I said, your whole goal is getting off the line. And that's what a lot of times what it comes down to is the application. Well, let's talk about the Toyo. All right, guys, so the Toyo R has its pros and cons as well. The, the pros I would say of the Toyo R is it's an all around sticky performer. Meaning that that means in the straights, in the twisties, and even in the wet, it's better than the NTO 5R. And the reason for that is it has a stiffer sidewall and has a slightly stiffer compound that helps it to deal with uh, the, the handling abilities, right? Because when you hit that corner, the last thing you want is that sidewall flex that gives you that wallowy feel. The Toyo Triple R has a stiffer sidewall which allows it to handle that. But the reason why it can't compete in a straight line launch with the NTO 5R is because of that. Um, that stiffer sidewall doesn't allow the flex that it needs to get that bite of the NTO 5R. Um, however, it really depends on your application. The Toyo does have its cons though. 
And in the cons department, I would say the Toyos are loud AF. They are loud. So you're driving, you're doing 70 miles an hour, and all you hear is <laughs> like literally, it's like that. And the faster you go, it goes up in pitch. So it's like 70, 80, 90, 100, 130. It's like it's like having another motor or something. It's, it's really loud, these tires. But most cars are loud enough that it, that won't even matter. You probably won't even hear it. The off the line traction, like I said, is not going to be as good as the NTO 5 are. So I would say overall, when you're looking to compare these two tires specifically, overall, what I would say is it matters about the application and what you need out of the tire. Do you need the tire to be an all around performer? Meaning, are you gonna use it more so than just getting off the line? Or are you just gonna use this to go get somebody and then go home and take them off, right? So if you're the latter, you're probably an NTO 5R guy. If you're the, the former, then more than likely the Toyo Triple Eight is gonna help you out a little bit more and it lasts a little bit longer. But overall, I could share with you that either way, you better have your piggy bank ready because these tires will burn a hole in your pocket as fast as they burn in the rubber that they're on. So in my case, in the case of my Dodge Challenger Hellcat, that's making a lot of horsepower. Well, right now it ain't making because we working on the motor, getting that back in. But anyway, in the case of a car that makes uh, upwards of 900 wheel horsepower or what it's going to be making, the Toyo Triple Eight R's might as well be like regular tires for me because <laughs> they don't hook that hard. But from a roll, they do grab. I can hit it from about a 40 roll on a warm day and be able to hook. Um, whereas the NTO 5 R's, I could actually hook from a slower speed. So therefore, um, in the case, it really depends on the application. Another con for the Toyo as it relates to the NTO 5R is the price. Um, I'll show those on the screen now, the difference between the two. As you can see, the Toyos are considerably more. So, Stefan, in your tech review Tuesday, this is about mod to fame. In your tech review, which one wins this comparison between the Toyo 888R and the Nitto NTO 5R? Drum roll, please. Grrr. Believe it or not, guys, for me, the winner has to be the Toyo Triple Eight R, and the reason for that is, even in my application, which is not great on, it's a more all-around tire. So I can use this car not only to do my fun racing stuff, but I can hit the back roads, I can hit the twisties. I could even decide if I wanted to, do, to, like I've done before with this car, a track day. Most people do not use their cars in so many ways as your boy Monte Fame does, but in my case, it would have to be the Toyo Triple Eight R. So as we return for a later Tech Review Tuesday, we're gonna put the Toyo Triple Eight R against this other tire that we got over here the Mickey Thompson ET Street SS. So we just compared those two tires, but there are all different types of tires in the R compound segment, that street radio style segment. These Mickey Thompson and ET Streets are also a very sticky compound. Um, also wears out very quickly, very sticky, but they also have another grade higher, which is their ET Street R's. And next Tech Tuesday, We'll actually probably do a deep dive more into Mickey Thompson as it compares to the Triple Eight R. Well, guys, this completes our first ever Tech Review Tuesday. I hope you guys liked it. And like I said, we're going to be comparing today's winner against the Mickey Thompson ET Street SS and R later as it compares to the Toyo Triple Eight R. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked it. If you did, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, share, hit that bell notification so you don't miss no more videos going forward. But until the next one, it's your boy Stefan here from Mod to Fame. And here, sitting in that place to be in track tire, we out. We out. <laughs>